Uh, you're fully aware by now I lost four and a half stone, right? There means pictures of me up there fatter than others. Look at that one. Look. Can you see that? How fat I used to be, look. Look at that, look. Anyway, let's get back to the normal. I lost four and a half stone. And what I want to tell people, tell everybody, is that it isn't difficult to lose weight. Only diets are difficult. Diets are restrictive. They make you feel uncomfortable, right? So this is why people don't want to do it. Also, people are scared of change. And you don't have to change a great deal. Think of it simply like this, right? You're eating anyway, right? <laughs> We're all eating. So just change what you're eating. That's it. If you're big, like I was, it's because you're eating wrong things. Okay? I've never been on a diet. Now, let me underline that. I've never, ever, ever been on a diet. I hate diets. Diets are restrictive. It means that often, like that fasting thing, it means you're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to be hungry. Or it means you can't, you've got to eat small portions. And that's just not true. What you do have to do is learn to eat healthily and have big portions of healthy food. And that's what Show Me Fit is all about. Okay, and that is the right way of doing it. Diets don't work. You might lose a little bit of weight short term, but they're not sustainable. This is why you've heard people say, oh, I lost weight and then I put it all straight back on again. Yeah, that's because they then revert back to what they were doing before that made them bigger in the first place. I hope this makes sense. Think about this. The only way to do this is to carry on eating, eating big portions of food, but eat healthy food, but food that you choose to eat, not what someone tells you to eat. Okay, this will all become this will all become clear. I started Show Me Fit, right? Because I do a lot of press for television programs that I do. I do a fair bit of telly. And the press started asking me about how I was losing weight, how I'd lost weight. And then the TV companies I was working for were saying to me, Could you stop hijacking the interviews with weight? I said, Well, I'm not I'm not hijacking them. This is what the journalists want to know, is how I did it. How did I do it? They wanted to know how it was like living with your in-laws. They also wanted to know how I'd lost the weight. And that's when I realised there was a huge appetite for it. And the more, once you, when you start losing weight, you know you've been successful because people start coming up to you and saying, how did you do it? How did you do it? And I was having more and more conversations with people about weight loss. And I realised actually quite how simple it was and how badly informed people were. So all I wanted to do was, and I started Show Me Fit. You can Google it. Go and have a look at it. Or I might let you in there in a minute. Um, and just to show people that it didn't have to be uncomfortable. You, look, but... Let's get this right. You don't have to change. No one's telling you you need to change. It's up to you. I personally want to look after myself. I'm, I'm approaching 60. I want to be well and fit. And also, I want to look the best I can. I know I work on telly, but I want to look as good as I can. Obviously, my wife's a lot younger than me as well. But we all should want to look better, and we should all want to look after our health, right? So we would all choose to do that, I know. I know, even though people go, people overweight, people go, well, I'm happy. If there was a pill they could take to be the same happy but be slim, they'd take it, right? I mean, they just would. Somebody mentioned this the other day on a chat. We'd all want to be slimmer and fitter. The reason we don't do it is we think it's going to be difficult. And it's not difficult. Obviously, you have to change, but you don't have to change a great deal. Don't do a diet at all. Don't. You're eating anyway. Just eat healthily. But food that you want to eat. Hopefully, everything will become clearer later. There are three things that made me fat. And I have lots of conversations with people about health and weight loss. And I should imagine they're the same three for you. Booze, snacking, takeaways. That's it. Booze, snacking, takeaways. That's it. Booze, I love a drink. I was out Friday night. I love a drink. Love a drink. So I don't stop. Never stopped. Love a glass of wine. Love a pint of beer. Love a nice whiskey. I drink twice a week now, okay? Takeaways, I've stopped them. I've stopped them. Snacking, I've stopped it. I've stopped it. And the way you stop snacking is to make sure you're full up. And I mean really full up three times a day, but with healthy food. You've got to believe me when I tell you this. That's how I've done it. It's how I've lost four and a half stone. That's how I've stayed slim. I'm eating food I want to eat, but it's nice food. It's nice food. Yesterday for breakfast, bacon sandwich. Lunch, crab on toast. Dinner, Moroccan-style chicken with a fattoosh salad. 
nice food, food I want to eat. And what do I snack on? I snack on ripe fruit. There's, there's nothing restrictive about what I'm doing. And I was out Friday night and I drank a lot Friday night. There's nothing restrictive on what I'm doing. I'm choosing the meals I'm eating. But because I'm now four and a half stone lighter and because there's a nutritionist on Show Me Fit, I know what I can eat. I'm choosing to eat it. So this morning for breakfast, I had some cockles. Lunch, I'm going to make like a nettle pasta. Dinner, we've got barbecued squid. I'm choosing to eat these things. These are foods I want to eat. These are nice foods. All right. And then I will snack on fruit. I might, I'm going to the cinema. I might have some of them mini balls, moochers or whatever they call. I like them. All right. But I've learned. Never been on a diet, never been hungry. But I stopped the snacking. I stopped the takeaways and I reduced the booze. OK, show me fit, by the way, is a fiver to join and it's seven pound a month. I'm keeping it as cheap as I can so I can help as many people as I can. What else did I want to talk about? There is a little bit of organisation involved in keeping yourself slim and fit and well. All right. Organise your food. Don't let food happen to you by accident. Know what you're going to eat. Meal plan. Know what you're going to eat. Also, is an added benefit. If you meal plan, you will save money. Loads of people on show me fit go, oh, well, I did a meal plan. Knew exactly what I was going to have, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Went to the supermarket, just bought that. Saved 40 quid on me shopping because they're not buying snacks. They're not buying takeaways. They're not buying ready meals. Now, I know, and this is a tough point for a lot of you, you don't know how to cook. I know that. Show me fit. We, we know that. Show me fit has got an enormous big category on the basics of cookery. So you can teach yourself to cook. I know people don't cook. When people say to me, I haven't got time to cook, I know what that means. It means they don't know how to. So on Show Me Fit, what we do is we film, and I'll show you this later, we film all the recipes so that you can follow them. Okay? When you say you don't have time to cook, is you don't know how to. Because I know it takes about three minutes to grill a piece of fish. I know I can prepare a steak with salad in 10, 12 minutes. You with me? You with me? We, we've got to get better. It's not our fault. It's just our mums and dads didn't cook and nan and granddads didn't cook. So we've kind of de-skilled the population this way. It's not about exercise either. I've been in the gym this morning. I don't go in the gym to lose weight. I go in the gym because I want to be big and strong and look athletic, even at my age. <laughs> Midlife crisis? I don't know, but I feel good on it. But I don't go into the gym to lose weight. All right. Lots of people say to me, oh, I can't exercise. No, it's not about exercise, it's about what you stick in your mouth. And lots of people say, oh, I've got bad knees. Yeah, you've got bad knees because you're overweight. Lots of overweight people have bad knees because your knees weren't designed to carry around 18 stone. There you go. So it does need a little bit of organisation. Now, let me try and show you, so you know what I'm talking about. Inside, can you see? I've got to make sure you can. How am I going to do Oh, yes, I'll turn the screen around. So you can see what I can see. Clever boy, Greg. You get there eventually. So there we are. There's inside. So you go to food. And what we want you to do, well, there's, there's loads of stuff. If you look up here, there's yoga and mindfulness and there's mindset. Mindset is important, okay, because it gets you in the right frame of mind. There are two psychologists that have written stuff on here and how to get yourself in the right frame of mind, okay? And then also what to do when you slip up. But if you say there's exercise here, if you want to do it, exercise at home, yoga and mindfulness, mindset, news, accounts. There's also, which is really important, there's a Facebook group with like over 1,500 people on it, all members who all support each other and help each other. Okay, but let's go back to this and show you. And it's as simple as this, right? A nutritionist has done this. All right, working with Anna, my, my wife Anna writes all the recipes. So if we go, we just go to breakfasts. There you go. And all the breakfasts come up. Now, if you have a look, it tells you how long they take. Can you see? Now, what I'm going to tell you here is what happens. Believe me. You eat breakfast from here. You eat lunch from here. You eat dinner from here. You lose weight. Let me tell you, tell you that again. You eat breakfast from here. You eat lunch from here. You eat dinner from here. You lose weight. That's the way I did it. That's how hundreds of people have done it on here. You're never hungry. You choose food that you want to eat. But all of these dishes are nutritionally balanced by Kat, our in-house nutritionist who also does live talks. That's how it works. And because you're all different shapes and sizes, you eat as much as will fill you up. 
Okay, so look. Oh, put a smiley face on that somehow. So there you go, look. And you scroll down and there's literally hundreds and hundreds of them. Look. And there's that for breakfast, there's that for lunch, there's that for dinner. So let's let's try let's take one. Let's let's take one. Uh this one. Blueberry muffin baked oats. It takes 20 minutes. It's a vegetarian dish. So there you go. And it tells you what you'll need, the ingredients you'll need, the method. And there, look, now we've also filmed them so you can follow them. There you go. I'm going to show you how to make blueberry muffin baked oats. For this, you'll need 80 grams of oats, a handful of blueberries. Are you with me? That's how it works. There's also, we go back to food, there's also lunches and dinners. So then you go to the dinners. You scroll down, you find the recipe that you want. Which one do you want to eat from? There's hundreds and hundreds. So there's no way there won't be food you like. All right, there's hundreds. Now, here's the point. Not a diet, not restrictive. You eat the meals you want to eat. And that's all we ever had to do. We just need to cut out the crap. We just need to eat nice things. And there they are, hundreds and hundreds of recipes. All, all done. Let me show you, let me see if I can get onto the homepage. And let me show you some of the before and after pics so that you know that I'm not lying. Why well, I would lie, I don't know. You can clearly see the weight I am. I'm not sure, I'm not very good. I need my, I need my, I need my uh, my daughter on this. This there, there's the. That's cat. That's the nutritionist. Couldn't do this with. Couldn't. Could not do this without her. There we go. Right. There you go. And you can find these people on Instagram. There's the success stories. And there's lots of them. So they, look, there you go. There you go. Right. I just wanted to show you because I'm realised that when I talk about it, you might not be able to actually see what it is. And that's how it works.